Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today, I am going to discuss about Mathematics Grade 11, General Mathematics, First Quarter, Week 4, Day 1 to 4. This is GIA. GIA stands for Guided Integrated Learning Activities for Learners. So the objectives for this week are the following. Represent real-life situations using one-to-one -one functions. Second, determine the inverse of a one-to-one -one function. Third, represent an inverse function through its table of values and graph. And find the domain and range of an inverse function. So we have here the milk code. So in this guia for week 4, this is written by Sir Elmer C. Andilab from Basalim National High School in Zabuagas, Bugay Division. So for the day 1 activities, mini lesson, Hi there, nice day. I think it's time for you to learn something new. It's all about one-to-one -one functions, specially on, specifically on how to represent real-life situations using one-to-one -one function. Are you ready? If you are ready, then let's have the definition of a one-to-one -one function. So we have here the definition. The function f is one-to-one -one if for any x sub 1 and x sub 2 in the domain of f, then f of x sub 1 is not equal to f of x sub 2. That is, the same y value is never paired with two different x values. In examples, determine whether the given relation is a function. If it is a function, determine whether it is a one-to-one. -one. Let's now have example number one. So for example number one, the relation pairing an SSS member to his or, SS or her SSS number. The solution, each SSS member assigned to a unique or assigned a unique SSS number. So when we say about unique, it has one and only one. So in one member, he has corresponding a unique, only one unique number or SSS number. Thus, the relation is a function. Further, two different members cannot be assigned the same SSS number. Thus, the function is one to one. So when we say function, it is one paired to one. Recall, so as we are going to recall the definitions for relation and function. So a relation is any set of ordered pairs. The set of all first coordinates is called the domain of the relation. The set of all second coordinates is called the range of the relation. So for example, in an ordered pair, shall we say 8, 8, and 9. So the first x here is called the domain 8. And the 9 here, or the y, is called the range. So a function is a special type of relation. It is a relation in which every element in the domain is mapped to exactly one element in the range. Thus, a set of ordered pairs is a function if no two distinct ordered pairs have equal abscissas. So we see abscissas, the domain of the given function. So for example, in an ordered pair, shall we see 8, 9, Another ordered pair is 8, 10. So the abscissas here are 8, 8, 9, 8, 10. So the abscissa or domain is 8. Since they are repeating, so these are not functions because the two ordered pairs, the x values repeat. So it should be 1, 2, 1. For example, number 2, the relation pairing a person to his or her citizenship. So for the solution, the relation is not a function because a person can have dual citizenship. The citizenship is not unique. So meaning a person, he or she, has a corresponding citizenship. So for example, he is a Filipino and the other one, he can also bring another citizenship like American. So he has two citizenships. So meaning if there are two, so the relation is not a function. So let's now have example number three. Number three, the relation pairing a real number to its square. So as we can see, or we can write the ordered pairs for the real number, we can have one, 
the square of 1 is 1. The square of 2 is 4. The square of 3 or the order of pair 3 is 9. And so on. So each real number has a unique perfect square. Thus, the relation is a function. For example, you can have negative, negative 1, the same, the negative 1 squared is positive 1. If we can have negative 2, negative 2 times negative 2, negative 2 is positive 4. So, since as we can see, the positive numbers 1, they have the same ordinates or the y values, but they have the they are not the same for the abscissas or the domain, so meaning these are functions. So the relation pairing real number for each square is a function. It is not a function if we are going to interchange the ordered pair. So for example, now we are going to delete this one. So it is not an ord it is not a function if we can have four squared with negative two. We have the perfect square 4 squared with 2. We can have negative uh, 9 squared with negative 3. And the other one, 9 squared with positive 3. So as you can see, we are going to interchange. It is not one-to-one -one function because two different real numbers such as negative 2 and 2 may have the same square. So the x value or the 4 repeats, so that is not a function. For example, number 4. The relation pairing an airport to its airport, airport code. Airport codes are three-letter codes used to uniquely identify airports around the world and prominently displayed on check-in bags to denote the destinations of these bags. Here are some examples of airport codes. MNL stands for Ninoy Aquino International Airport, that is all terminals. CEB stands for Mactan Cebu International Airport, DVO that is Francisco Bango International Airport, Davao, JFK, John F. Kennedy International Airport, New York City, CDG, Charles de Gaulle International Airport, Paris, France. So since for our solution, since each airport has a unique airport code, then the relation is a function. Also, since no two airports share the same airport code, then the function is 1 to 1. So let's, you can now solve using your module or your learning activity sheet for the guidance practice activity. You are going to identify whether the given real life situation is 1 to 1 function or not. Write your answer on the space provided before the number or you can have your extra sheet of paper. For number 1, a person is issued or a person issued a driver's license from the DLRC. Is it a function or not? Is it a one-to-one -one function or not? Second, a specific car model is produced by a specific car manufacturer. Third, many companies can have single owner. Fourth, a person is issued a passport from the country where he is a bona fide citizen. Fifth, 29 states of India are related to one country. For the guided practice activity, give three examples of situations that can be represented as one-to-one -one function and two examples that are not one-to-one. -one. So you can have one, two, three for one-to-one -one function, four and five for not one-to-one. -one. Then you can have the evaluation, multiple choices, Directions, read each item carefully, write the letter of your answer on the space before the number, or you can use your extra sheet of paper. So you can answer 1 up to 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's now have our day 2 activities. For many lesson, hi, good day. I'm sure you want to learn more about functions just like before. This time, it's all about inverse of one-to-one -one functions, specifically on how to determine the inverse of a one-to-one -one function. 
Are you ready? If you are ready, then let's have the definition. So the definition, let f be a one-to-one -one function with domain a and range b. Then the inverse of f denoted by f to the power of negative 1, or f inverse f, is a function with domain b and range a denoted by f. denoted by f to the negative 1 of y equals x, or the inverse of y is equal to x, if and only if f of x equals y, or any y in b. So a function has an inverse if and only if it is 1 to 1. Inverting the x and y values of function results in a function if and only if the original function is 1 to 1. So by inverting a function, if the x and y values are interchanged, the result is a function. But if the x and y values of a function does, that is not one-to-one -one, are inverted, the result is no longer a function. To determine the inverse of a function from its equation, in light of the definition, the inverse of one-to-one -one function can be interpreted as the same function, but in the opposite direction. That is, it is a function from a y value back to its corresponding x value. So to find the inverse of a function one function, step A, write the function in the form y equals f of x. Interchange for B, interchange the x and y variables. And C, you solve for y in terms of x. This is because we are interchanging the input and output values of a function. Let's have examples. For example, number 1, find the inverse of f of x equals 3x plus 1. Solution, the equation of the function we have, you interchange from f of x, it becomes y. I mean, you have to substitute f of x into y is equal to copy the given 3x plus 1. Then interchange the x and y value since this is our y, our y which is our f of x, you change this one into x. And our x in the original function you change into y. So that is x equals 3y plus 1. Then step 3, solve for y in terms of x. So you can have x equals 3y plus 1. You can have 3y remain. You transpose positive 1 to the left. It becomes negative 1. Solving for y, divide both sides by 3. So x minus 1 over 3, 3y over 3, it becomes 1. 3 divided by 3, it becomes 1y. That is y. So therefore, y equals x minus 1 over 3. You are going to interchange the position. So y equals x minus 1 over 3. Then copy the f to the negative 1 or the inverse function of x of y. That is f to the negative 1 of x equals x minus 1 over 3. So therefore, the inverse of f of x equals 3x plus 1 is f to the negative 1x or inverse function x is equal to x minus 1 over 3. So let's now proceed example number 2. Find the inverse of the given function g of x equals x cubed minus 2. So solution, the equation of the, the, equation of the function is y equals x cubed minus 2. Again, the function g of x can be changed into y. Then interchange the x and y variables since our y, it becomes x, and our x, it becomes y. So that is x is equal to y cubed minus 2. Then solve for y in terms of x. So x is equal to y cubed minus 2, transpose negative 2 to the other side, it becomes x plus 2. The remaining is y cubed. Solving for y, since we have 3 is the exponent, you take the cube root to eliminate 3 here. Then this one, all of these given terms, x plus 2, enclosed into cube root. Therefore, y is equal to cube root of x plus 2. So the inverse of g of x equals x cubed minus 2 is the inverse of g to the negative 1 of x is equal to the cube root of x plus 2. Let's now have example number 3. Find the inverse of a rational function f of x equals 2x plus 1 all over 3x minus 4. So for the solution, the equation of the function is y equals 2x plus 1 over 3x minus 4. Then interchange the x and y variables. 
our y value or variable here, it becomes x. Our x here, it becomes y. So that is 2y plus 1 over 3y minus 4. Then solve for y in terms of x. So you can have this the denominator of the given function. You can multiply here to the x. So that is x times 3y minus 4 equals 2y plus 1. So you just enclose the denominator here, 3y minus 4, to multiply x, enclose that into a quantity symbol or in a parenthesis. Then you can have to multiply each of the term, x times 3y, it becomes 3xy, minus 4 times x is 4x, equals, you just copy here, 2y plus 1. Then we have 3xy minus, you just have transpose here, 2y to the other side, it becomes negative 2y. Negative 4x here, transpose to the other side, it becomes positive 4x, then plus 1. You place all terms with y on one side and those without y on the other side. So we have here to factor out y. So ipagawas na to ang y, it becomes, the remaining here is 3x minus 2 in close. Equals bring down 4x plus 1. So solving for y, for y, divide both sides by 3x minus 2. So here, to remain the y variable, you divide here 3x minus 2. The other one is 3x minus 2. So y is equal to 4x plus 1 over 3x minus 2. So therefore, the inverse of f of x or the function f of x is f to the negative 1 of x or the inverse function of x is equal to 4x plus 1 over 3x minus 2. Okay, let's now have example where a function has no inverse. Find the inverse f of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 2 if it exists. So for the solution, it is a quadratic function with a graph in the shape of a parabola that opens upwards or upward. It is not a one-to-one -one function as it fails the horizontal line test. So we can show that applying the procedure for finding the inverse to this function leads to a result which is not a function. So the equation of the function is y equals x squared plus 4x minus 2. So interchange the x and y variables, it becomes x equals y squared plus 4y minus 2. Solve for y in terms of x x is equal to y squared plus 4y minus 2. So it becomes transpose here, negative 2, it becomes positive 2. Then bring down y squared plus 4y, or just copy. Then you are going to fact, I mean you are going to find the perfect square here, trinomial. So you can have y squared plus 4y to find the perfect square or the binomial square. You divide the second. 4y here, divide by 2, then you square the 2, 4 divided by 2 is 4, divided by 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, that is plus 4. You also add here plus 4. Then simplify, 2 plus 4 is 6, you just bring down the variable x. So this become y plus 2 squared, because again, for the binomial, you just divide here the second 4 divided by 2, that is 2. Then you square the number, which is equivalent to y squared plus 4y plus 4. Then solving for y, you can have plus and minus here because you take the square root to solve for y plus 2. Take the square root both sides. Then transpose positive 2 to the other side becomes negative 2. Meron na siyang square root dito sa x plus 6. So our y is equal to positive and negative square root of x plus 6 minus 2. The equation y equals positive and minus square root of x plus 6 minus 2 does not represent a function because there are some values that correspond to two different y values. For example, if x equals 3, y can be 1 or negative 5. So meaning there are two values for x. So x is 3, y is 1. x is 3, y is negative 5. So for the function has...